So I spent the last few hours turning my Windows 11 PC into a Mac. And honestly, I can't believe how good this looks. From the dock at the bottom to the top bar, the widgets on the desktop, even the cursor, this thing is practically unrecognizable. And the best part, everything I'm showing you today is completely free. Now, if you want to see your own Windows 11 transform like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button and drop a like on this video. It really helps push this content to more people who need it. Plus, you will want to stay until the end because I'm showing you every single step. So without any further ado, let's get into it. Now, the first thing which we want to do here is to customize this taskbar to look like an actual dock from macOS. So here you want to open this website, it's called windhawk.net. And on this website, you will be able to download this program to customize Windows 11. So here, just click here on the download button and you should get this setup exe file. And then you can just click on it and install it like you would any other Windows program. And by the way, I will also put every single link in the video description down below so you guys can follow this tutorial pretty easily. And now once it's finished, you can just click on finish here and the Windhawk program should open. And now once you have Windhawk application open, you want to go here to the explore page and here you will search for this modification. It's called Windows 11 Taskbar Styler. So you can see it here, then click on the details and then here, Click on install. Now, once you have this modification installed, so Windows 11 Taskbar Styler, go here to the settings and down below the theme, you want to select this one. So it's called Window Glass. So just click on it and then here, click on Save Setting. And this is what it's going to look like here. Now, you can see that it looks a bit broken. So this is why you will have to go back to the Explore page and then you will have to install this one. So it's called Taskbar Height and Icon Size. Now, once you have this one installed, so Taskbar Height and Icon Size, you you want to go here to the advanced tab on Google, you want to search for Windows 11 taskbar styling guide. By the way, I'm also going to put this link in the video description down below. So you can just pause the video and click on this link. Now, once you are here, you want to scroll down until you find here the themes and you want to click here on window glass. Down below here, you will find this note. So in order to make the taskbar look better, it's best that you install the taskbar height and icon size mod and use the following settings for the mod. So here you want to click to expand JSON content. And then here you will find this button to copy this. And then here you want to go to the advanced and under the mod settings, you want to paste all of this inside. So just like this, and then you can click on the save button and you can see here how the taskbar actually adjusts its size. Now, here's the thing. You want to also go here to web browser and make sure that you also install this wallpaper as your background. So on this website, you want to scroll down here and I recommend that you click here on Light Tahoe and here you want to save it to your computer. So just right click on it and then here click on save image as. Now I'm going to save it here inside my downloads folder. So here I'm going to click on save and now we can go here, go to your downloads folder and here double left click on this wallpaper file and then click here on the three dots and then here set as background. And if you want to set it as your lock screen, you can also do that by clicking here on lock screen as well. And that is pretty much it. You can see right now that the taskbar isn't that clearly visible. So you will have to go here to the window settings, go to the personalization and under the colors here, you want to change this to the dark. So you can now see that every single item here is clearly visible. Now we are pretty much done here with the taskbar and now let's customize here the start menu as well as the notification center. So to do that, we can go back here to the Windhawk. Let's go here to the explore page once again. And you want to install this one. It's called Windows 11 start menu styler. Just click on the details and then here click on install. And now once you have it installed, just just go here to the settings and under the theme, you want to select this one down below. You have two options, window glass, and then we have window glass minimal. So here, for example, I'm going to click on the first one. And this is what the first option actually looks like. Then we have also here the second one. So let me show you what this one looks like. So this is the second one. It's a bit left aligned, as you can see. I think I'm just going to go here with the first one and let's click here on save settings. And now for the notification center, we can go here to the explore and you want to search here for Windows 11 Notification Center Styler. Let's go here and install it. And now once you have it installed, you can go here to the settings and change the theme here. 
you have of course two of the themes for window glass. I will click here on the first one. And now if I click here on the notifications, you can see how they actually look like. In my opinion, much better than before. So we are pretty much done here with the Windhawk customizations. Now let's continue here with the widgets on our desktop. So go here and make sure that you go to this website. It's called rainmeter.net. And you want to click here on the download button to get the installer and click on it and install it like you would any other Windows program. Now, of course, from the rain meter, you will find some of the pre-installed widgets on your desktop. So to remove them, just right click on them and click on unload skin on every single one of them. Now let's get this top bar or the menu bar from the Mac OS here. So you want to install this widget. So it's called drop top four. And here you can click on download and you can get here the basic free version. So let's click here. And then here you can click on, I have it already because we just installed it. And then here you will get this file with the ending of RM skin. You can then click on it and then here click on install. Now here you can click on continue and then here you will have to click on yes. And here I'm going to select English and let's click on continue. And then I will select here always show drop top and I will select here this device is a laptop and let's click on continue or you can also enter weather location. For example, here I'm going to enter London. So just like this, and I'm also going to enable Celsius here. And then here, click on continue. And then here, let's click on continue once again. And then here we will have to choose a starting theme. For example, I can go here with the Mac OS Sequoia. So let's click on it here. And then I will select here maybe later. Then click on finish setup and you should have a brand new top bar just like the Mac OS does. And of course, if you find it too small or too big, you can click here on the left icon here and then go here to the options. And then down below here, you will find adjust size setting and you can pick whichever you prefer. Now we are pretty much done with the top bar here. Let's continue with the desktop widgets. So to install brand new Apple-like widgets on your Windows, you will have to install this widget pack. It's called Monterey rain meter. And you can also see here a quick preview. Now let's go here to the releases and down below here, let's click on RM skin file and just click on it and click here on install. And now here you should see this settings for the widgets. So pretty much what you will have to do here is to enable which one would you like to have on your desktop. For example, I'm going to select here clock, calendar, monitoring, and also the weather. And now just like this, we have widgets on our desktop. Now here, I'm going to place them somewhere here, just like so, so we can see them. Then for example, this weather widget, I'm going to put here on the top left corner. And to change its location, we can right click on, the, on it and click on edit weather. And here I'm going to select different city, for example, London, click on enter and then click here on save. And then for example, this monitoring widget, I'm going to place somewhere here on the bottom left corner. And this uh, calendar widget, I'm going to place somewhere here. So just like this. And then we have here the clock widget as well, which I'm going to select here wide option and I will place it somewhere here on the bottom right corner, we can see that I have the recycle bin. So to get completely rid of it, we can right click on it. And then here, let's click on the view and uncheck this option, show desktop icons. And now we can also install a Mac OS cursor. So let's go here and go to this website. It's on GitHub. And as I said before, I'm also going to put a link for it in the video description down below. Now here you want to go to the releases and down below here, you want to get the source code. So just click here to get the source source code or the zip file. And then here you can click on this folder icon here, select it and then click on extract all. And then once again, click on extract. And then we want to go inside this folder and I will select here Sierra and newer. And I will select here with no shadow and I will select normal size. And then here you will find this file It's called install. So you want to right click on it and here click on install. And now you should have a brand new cursor. And this is pretty much it for this Mac OS setup. So we have here the widgets, we have the top menu bar, and then down below here, we have this pretty cool taskbar inspired by the liquid glass effect. And then here we also have this pretty cool start menu and also the notification center. So as I said before, I will pretty much leave every single link in the video description down below. So you guys can easily follow this tutorial. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure that you drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I will see you all around in the next one.